This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Kingsley Combination Key Safe. It's designed to be locked to a secure object near a door with the key to that door inside of it. To open it, you dial the non-resettable combination. This one already has the combination dialed in. Then we can lift the shackle and swing open the key storage compartment. Unfortunately, it's not a terribly secure design. It has at least two glaring weaknesses. First, it appears to be made from a zinc alloy, which is both weak and has a low melting temperature. This means it can probably be opened with either a plumber's torch or a normal hammer. I may demonstrate that in a future video, but today we're going to look at the second weakness, and that is decoding. By pulling up on the shackle, we can bind the fence against these code wheels. And since the false gates in the code wheels are far smaller than the true gates, finding the correct combination is a quick exercise. So let's scramble these wheels and try that right now. I'm going to pull up on the shackle and try to find the wheel that's binding the hardest. That's probably this one down here. And then I have to find, okay, I think I found a larger gate that's moving a bit. Let's find what's binding the most tightly now. You can see hardly any movement, but then when I find a true gate, we have a lot of movement. Okay, what's binding? Okay, they're both binding pretty tightly now. Okay, you can see we have a lot of movement now. That's probably the combination. And then we just lifted it up. So, as you saw, this is pretty easy to open, exploiting a weakness that frankly has been known about for several decades. So clearly not something I would recommend for anything but the lowest of security applications. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this Kingsley Combination Key Safe. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.